Here we have a minifigure scale, eight wide, speed champion style Lego DeLorean designed by Fire Fabric over on Rebrickable. If you're a Back to the Future fan, this is a must have because well, look at it, it's a minifig scale. Sure, we had that one from the Lego Ideas theme back in 2013, which was a little bit rough by today's standards. And we've got the massive Creator Expert Icons non minifigure scale car, which does look pretty cool. But this one is exactly what I've been after. No, this is not a sponsored video, and I did pay for the instructions myself, but I can't wait to build it. If you are interested, there will be a link to this over in the video description, but yeah, I would highly recommend it. And what's cool is that with this car, and if you just pay for the instructions one time, I think it's €6.50, you get the instructions for the car from part one, including the conversion to the hover mode in part two, and the red wheels from part three, even the train wheels from part three as well, which is pretty cool. And, well, you see the train back there, which is from the third film? They've even designed instructions for that. So if you're a train fan, you might be interested in this as well. Plus, they've got plenty of other pretty cool mocks, including a standard version of the DeLorean, which I might have to add to my wanted list. Now, as I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, I do plan to build multiple versions of this car so I can have one from each of the films. But for now, we're going to take a look at the original and the hover conversion from part one and two. If you're new to Rebrickable, it's basically an online place where people can upload their own designs, you buy the instructions, sometimes there are some free ones as well, then it's down to you to source the parts either from Bricklink, Brickowl, or check out your own parts inventory, which I've done, so I've sourced some parts already, some from my own collection, and I did have to make a couple Bricklink orders. And I've got everything already in here in this container, so it's nice and organized, I can get ready and get building. Of course, I'm not going to reveal the whole instruction booklet to you, but this is what it looks like. And the instructions were designed using Bricklink Studio, so they're nice and easy to follow with some helpful tips along the way. Perhaps the only downside of building a mock is that you don't have the luxury of organised numbered bags like you would with an official Lego set. Instead, I'm just going to tip them out into this tray. Of course, if you really wanted to, you could organise your own parts, but I like the challenge. It doesn't look like much now, but let's cut back when it's all finished and built. And here it is, all finished in its Back to the Future Part 1 form, including the lightning rod, which is an extra part. You can take it off if you don't want it on there, but just look at that and all its glory. With my Doc and Marty minifigures beside it, just so you can get an idea of scale. And you can fit both minifigures inside. Let's pop them in. So if we just close the door temporarily, you can lift off the windscreen, just like that, nice and easy. And take off this little binocular piece as well. And then we can squeeze them in there. But you have to admit, it does look pretty cool seeing both of them side by side in the DeLorean. I'll cut to the chase. The most fragile thing about this is definitely the doors, purely because of how the mechanism works for them to open. Because it's a little bit flimsy. Obviously, everything's kind of held in through an interesting and clever technique. But it just isn't the strongest. And the designer admits that. They know that. But, you know, that's how you can get this door open effect, of course. It's unfortunate the windscreen does continue on, but that's just the Lego part. Unless we're going to cut Lego pieces here, which I don't know how I feel about that. We're just going to have to deal with it. But it's cool that the door can open up, and it's the same for the other side. And, oh, yeah, there you go. See, it's a little bit fragile. Yeah, that's probably the worst thing about it. Potentially, this is definitely more of a display set rather than play, because you'd have to be a bit careful with the doors. This is version 2 where the doors do open and perhaps maybe in a version 3 the designer might come up with a stronger build but if you didn't want the doors to open there is a version 1 which you can still get the instructions for on their rebrickable site where the doors don't open it's all fully closed up. I mean even if you did version 2 it wouldn't take much just swap out a couple of plates here to lock that in place and me personally I'm not really going to be opening the doors that often so I'm not too bothered but I thought I should mention it straight away just so you know. But otherwise just taking a look at it you know, I don't know what else they could have done better. They got the scale right. Obviously, this is 8-wide speed champion style. Can fit two minifigs in, obviously. This is good. This is so much better than that 2013 LEGO Ideas fan submission, which, no disrespect to the fan designer, because even that original design looked a bit different to, end, to the finished set we ended up getting. I was very sad. I missed out on that set back in 2013, but by today's standards, it just doesn't hold up. So I'm very glad to have this in my possession. It's just so cool. Look at it, so many details packed in there, some really interesting building techniques. Definitely not for a beginner builder, even at speed champions level, which is sometimes a bit more extreme given some of the building techniques. And there's some very interesting ones in here. But yeah, this is slightly more of an advanced model and definitely more of a display rather than play. 
And of course we've got the lightning rod here to recreate the scene from the end of the first movie. You can take that off nice and easily, it's just two parts to get that kind of more complete finished look from the beginning of the film. And it does feature a light brick which is very cleverly integrated and activated by the reactor here, the plutonium reactor core. So if we just press down on that, ta-da! The flux capacitor can light up very nicely and it, it does just kind of stay in place and if you don't want it on, just flick it back and it'll turn off so you're not wasting the battery there. But that's a very cool, nice little feature. So smooth, very nicely done. Yeah, and not too much light shines out the back, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, one thing that this set might be missing is a few sticker details and included in the price for the instructions, the designer has designed their own custom stickers for you to print off, including license plates, the DMC logo on there, some interior logos as well. And because, of course, you can convert this to the Back to the Future Part 2 flying version, you do get the sticker for the 2015 license plate, Mr. Fusion, and a couple of other bits as well. But speaking of Back to the Future Part 2, let's do a quick conversion. So here we have just a 1x2 orange tile for the Back to the Future Part 2 license plate. And then we've got a Mr. Fusion, which is a pretty cool little build. You immediately know what that's supposed to be. And it just very easily swaps out with the plutonium core reactor, which is just slots into place to activate the light brick there. It's not attached with any studs or anything. So you can slide that out. But before we pop Mr. Fusion in, let's swap out our license plate here. So we just lift up the vents, take off this 2x4 gray tile take out the old license plate and you still need that black plate there so just take that off pop the new one back in put the vents back down pop mr fusion in he slots in just like that and again same for the light brick just leaning forward and there we go light comes on let go light comes off but of course the most interesting part about back to future part 2 is the fact that delorean can fly and yeah don't worry this car can do it too because the wheels can turn you don't have to take anything off the mechanism is all here so it just folds out like this Ta-da! Just like that, and all four wheels do that. And just like that, Back to the Future Part 2. All I need to do now is just swap out my minifigures, really, for their Back to the Future Part 2 outfits, but look at that. It's so cool, and perhaps adding the custom stickers there. Of course, LEGO did make official prints from the 2013 set, which are a little bit pricey and hard to come by these days, but if you have those, great. If not, you do get the custom decals included, so just print those off. Yeah, this is good. And that mechanism for the wheels, it is very clever, of course. It's a must-have, isn't it? And everything works nicely. And then to fold them back in again, nice and simple, down, up. And just like that, the wheel is back in place. Perhaps another minor downside is, as you can see, the mechanism for the folding wheels is almost in line with the wheel itself when it is back into normal driving mode. But with a few tweaks, it's there is like a hair of clearance, so the car can still easily roll along the desk, even with that feature in the way. But as you can see, it still drives along just fine. And if you remove the minifigures, there are some interior details with the steering wheel, the gear stick, seats for two, including the backrest there and the appropriate colour. There's a few printed tiles in there. And the one used for the time circuit display board is a perfect use of parts. That's so clever. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the designer has to come up with instructions and parts list to convert this to have the red wheels, which is still a little bit iffy given the current parts available. Really, Lego need to bring back some white wall tyres and that would just make that conversion so much better. But of course, they've also got the rail mod for having the DeLorean on the train tracks, just like in part three of the film. And it's so clever how they achieved that look. And I will be doing both of those in the future, but I don't want to convert each one. I want to have separate cars. So I've got one for part one. I'm going to do it all over again. So I can have another for part two and then the others for part three. And they've even got a standard DeLorean before any time travel conversions have been made. So that might be a good one to add along my Speed Champions collection. I'm surprised that we haven't done this yet. Maybe they will in the future once the Creator Expert style one is no longer on the market. But for now, I'm very happy with this. What do you guys think about this one? Tell me in the comments down below. And definitely check out Fire Fabric on Rebrickable. Not a sponsored video. They don't even know if I'm doing this, but I really like it. I'm very happy to have this in my LEGO collection. As a Back to the Future fan, LEGO fan, this is definitely the best DeLorean mock on Rebrickable, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends.